Hey guys, thought I'd try something different today. I'm climbing in Squamish and thought it'd be a good time to, to address a couple of things. Number one, what is Zep doing this summer with regards to our camps and clinics, all our programs starting in May, given the current coronavirus situation. And number two, Maybe just a little chat about how it's impacting us, the mountain bike industry, and maybe you guys at home. Um, so yeah, number one, uh, what's our plans for the summer? Well, right now, all the ZEP programs really start late May, so we have about two months. So currently, we're monitoring the situation every day. But ultimately, we haven't rescheduled any camps. So we're, we're going ahead full steam, 100% um, at the moment. If the situation changes, we'll, we'll obviously update everyone through email or social media and let you guys know as early as we know. Um, I think for mountain biking and coaching, you know, if, if we move forward with our programs at their scheduled time, you know, we're, we obviously have some policies and procedures we're gonna put in place, making sure we keep a good distance between students, instructors and students, coaches and students, student to students, not touching equipment, not touching each other's bikes, small group sizes, which, We've always specialized in with Zep anyway. We never really have any more than four, maybe five students in a group. Um, so the plan is to move ahead, um, but move ahead with smart decision-making and putting those sort of common sense policies into practice. Um, and like I said, if it changes, we'll let you know. Um, next thing, you know, how is this current situation with COVID-19 impacting the mountain bike industry? And definitely a lot of changes going on. Already working with our sponsors for gear this year. They've been really understanding. Um, we really appreciate the continued support from our sponsors. Um, Trudy, Transition Bike, Shimano, whole list of them on our website. So. Thanks guys, we'll, we'll keep in this together and we'll keep moving forward however we need. Um, I think for coaching, the first goal of any coach is to ensure safety, manage risk. So in ZEP, that will be our goal moving forward as always. And kind of in a unique situation in that learning to ride bikes in an outdoor environment there isn't any need for physical contact. Like I said before, small group sizes. So we're, as it stands right now, we're, we're pretty confident that come late May, early June, when our programs begin, we'll be able to proceed and still deliver safe, a safe environment for our students to ride and learn in. Um, we often, one of our big goals in ZEP is uh, if we have to, in a way, you know, if we have to hold your hand or spot you when you try something new, chances are you're not ready for it. We always try and build our clients up with good skill analysis, um, break down things into small progressions so that when you try that drop off or that rock roll for the first time, you, uh, you don't need a spot a coach to stand there and spot you in case you should fall. So we really try and empower our students to learn independently from the coach and we provide a learning environment that lets our students do that safely. So those are just some of the thoughts, ideas as we move forward into mid late March here. And again, if things change, I'll let you guys know. We're monitoring it every single day. Um, how this impacts us, 
you know, at home. It's definitely, definitely different when you think of your home environment. Kids aren't in school at the moment. Doesn't look like they're gonna go back to school. Restaurants, businesses are closed. I think the big thing that's freaking people out is not so much the coronavirus itself, although of course, that's something we really need to be careful with, but it's it's the unfamiliarity with this whole situation. What's gonna to happen to the economy in the short and long term? What's gonna to happen to schooling? Um, I think that's the big thing. But I guess one of the takeaways, if I can give anything, is unfamiliarity breeds an opportunity to learn. And if we get specific, I think a word I like at the moment is resilience. I think our family networks, our social networks, our work environments, we're gonna find out how resilient they are. And I think it's okay to be a little bit nervous. It's natural. None of us have really been in this position before and maybe try and look at it from the other side and there's a chance to see how resilient you can be, uh, your family can be and an opportunity to learn from that and get strong from that. And it's kind of cheesy. It's all these cheesy Instagram posts at the moment, but one thing I really liked this morning, I saw in Tiny Sue Gray's post, she said, uh, she had a quote there and it said something like, um, things will always get better in the end. And if they're not better yet, it's not the end. So cheesy, but good. You know, you'll be surprised. You might be more resilient than you think. Same with your family. And if not, try and find some ways to be more resilient. So for me, I'm a little stressed at the moment. Stressed about my mortgage, my business, my kids, my friends' kids, my friends' businesses. We're sort of as a Thai community. A lot of us run our own businesses. We don't have that guaranteed income. And I'm pretty stressed, so today I'm just going on a solo ride, mellow, something I could ride in my sleep, so there's no risk of me hurting myself and putting extra strain on the health system. That's another conversation, but that's our goal right now. Unless you really absolutely, utterly have to go to the clinic, don't. Try and say you're gonna be fine. And uh, let's leave the clinic for people that really, really need medical help. So my part today, I'm trying to reduce my stress, trying to put myself in a place where I can deal with more strength, um, more stress. That's me being more resilient. The way for me to do that is to get some exercise, feel healthier, and then I can go back to my family, my kids, my business, and tackle it. And, uh, see this thing through so a bit heavy there but you know heavy times <laughs> uh, enjoy yourself today find something positive find an area you can improve and become stronger in and uh, yeah we'll, uh, we'll figure this out hopefully see you guys in May keep in touch